God damn, I really need a haircut. Does this look stupid? Let me know in the comments. So here's a question for you. What looks like a console, behaves like a console, but is actually not a console? Don't get me wrong, I completely understand why people think this. Valve has done an amazing job at streamlining the experience for the device, so it's easy to forget that behind the tiny screen with the attached joysticks is a full-fledged PC, ready to run a full OS at a moment's notice, even Windows 11 if that's what you fancy. So is it actually possible to use your Steam Deck as your main PC? Yes, absolutely, no doubt about it. I don't need to make a video about that, there's multiple articles and YouTubes answering this exact question. Hell, even I made a quick short video where I show off the Steam Deck connected to my main setup and running flawlessly. But I want to push the envelope a little. I want to go full circle. You know that circle of life thing? What if I can build a game on the Steam Deck and then run it on the Steam Deck without ever touching any other PC? Is that even possible? But as the commenter pointed out, let's not get carried away with the can and maybe tackle first the should. I agree that it does sound cumbersome, fidgety and like a waste of time, but that entirely depends on who you are and where you are in life right now. All our PC Master Race nerds sitting in our ivory ATX towers with our GTX RTX 3080,000 Super Ti turbos are in great positions to dismiss a device like the Steam Deck to for power hungry tasks. But we're a minority. The most common GPUs on Steam right now are mid to low tier ones from 2-3 generations ago. When I was a kid, my computer at the time wasn't some fancy pants full tower with a 4 GHz CPU, but it was this thing. Which at the time was a three year old hand me down for my dad's business. The thing barely turned on, and I had the pleasure of using it for another four years because that's just what I had. I wanted to play games and write code back then as well, but get more better computer, bro, wasn't an option. And I'm sure a lot of you are in the same situation. Maybe your Steam Deck is just your only computer, and that's fine, because it's one of the best value for money computers out there right now. Right, I think that answers the should we question fairly well, let's get into the can we. Before getting to work, there are some prerequisites. Theoretically, you could do this with just the Steam Deck. It does have built-in mouse and keyboard support, but using a touchscreen keyboard to code is... I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemies. You will end up yeeting the down thing out the window. The best solution that I found is to just buy a cheap Bluetooth keyboard plus mouse if you have the budget for it, but that's not required. Mine are not so cheap because these are the main tools I use on my personal computer. They facilitate switching between free, between free computers just from the buttons, but a basic Bluetooth keyboard will suffice just fine. And I know this kind of goes against my previous argument of make do what you have, but I'm not a miracle worker. You need to type on something in order to code. And why Bluetooth, you may ask? Because the Steam Deck only has one USB-C port that you will want to have it plugged in when you're coding on it because it will use a lot of power. So Bluetooth is just the best, the next best thing. <laughs> the next best, the next best thing. The next best thing. <laughs> the next best thing. All right, keyboard. Now what? First, can we even install a genuine game engine on the Steam Deck? Unity, I choose you. Okay, so the Unity Hub installed fine on SteamOS. And so did the actual Unity game engine. Holy moly, Unity actually runs on the Steam Deck. Okay, let's make a quick pretend game or something. Okay, press play. This is going annoyingly well. Right, let's build it a standalone for Linux. Okay, that also looked like it worked. Go to Steam, add it as an external game to the library. Restart the deck. Huh, it shows up and it works. Not only does it work, but it's actually running at 60 FPS and it worked first try. That was way too easy. I was hoping this would be a longer video, but apparently not. So can you make games on the Steam Deck so you can play them on the Steam Deck? Yes, absolutely without any issues. It took me a total of 40 minutes from booting up into Steam Desktop mode to launching the game from within the Steam Deck interface. But going back to the should question, should you actually build a game on the Steam Deck? Actually, yeah, you should. It works and it works well. It reminds me of the very early days of personal computers. They were a bit before my time, but I've heard countless stories of people about how they received their ZX Spectrum or their Commodore 64 for Christmas, and that's how they got into programming and game development. 
To this day, a lot of small indie titles are just one-person projects and the Steam Deck could be the ZX Spectrum of this generation, allowing more people to get into game and software development from a younger age. If you get a Steam Deck this Christmas, you don't just get a games console, you get a whole PC that fits in your pocket. A PC that does everything a PC does, that is very powerful and opens a lot of doors to a lot of kids that otherwise wouldn't even consider game development as something they can do. Sure, the vast majority will still use it as a games console, which is, after all, its intended purpose, but the tinkerers out there will enjoy a Steam Deck a lot more than they will enjoy a Nintendo Playbox 5. And I think that's great. I think that just beacons back to an age where we could just get our own computers and do whatever we wanted with them as opposed to being locked into an ecosystem that's anywhere between predatory to abusive. This is an amazing opportunity into the future. It's an amazing opportunity for open source software. It's an amazing opportunity for anybody to learn how to use a computer again <laughs> in a weird way. But yeah, that's the video. Like, subscribe, whatever you know the drill. But if you want a full length tutorial on how to get the Steam Deck set up for game development, please let me know in the comments. I'd really like to make one, but it is 40 minutes long and editing a video that long is very tedious. So I'd like to know beforehand if there is actually a demand for it. So I don't just put it out and nobody watches it. All right, peace.